Hello guys and gals on YouTube. How are you guys doing today? We've got some uh, armor parts here and more armor screws and parts. This other bag over there has got Traxxas parts. Hey, do you guys think, uh, I'm <laughs> just kidding, would armor run better with Traxxas parts, you think? What we're doing here is we're going to see um, see how bad this is. This, I believe, is Bant, the uh, shock tower here, and that's why the body's not fitting. Also, you guys want to see, can you see that? Let's bring it up so you can see it. See the screws missing here? This one's backed out. So you say to yourself, well, uh, gee, well, of course, what does that? Well, this one does. It's all loose. Actually, it didn't quite loosen up, but uh, you know what? It's not, ah, it's not a good thing. Now, let's get this set up. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. Go ahead and pull your front shock and drop the little ball piece in your top cap out. Let's swing it down out of the way, exposing this. This thread up here is kind of rough. I'm going to have to replace that. Just see how it goes. Can you see the light warp there? This ear is back. And uh, I didn't notice till now, but this, this shock's seen better days. Anyways, I'm um, going to pull these two screws out of here and pull this thing out see what's going on. Let's see up and up, you know? Just four out. And then take the old, good old 2.5 and go ahead and start this guy here. It's cup, little drive cup. That's why they use a flattened design. See a screw here that looks like it might be loosening up a little bit. It just holds the end, so it's not the end of the world, but should be able to just lift, lift this guy out of here. All right, let's check this out, guys. Ooh. Ooh, she not be flat, guys. She's not flat at all. Look at that, not good. Dude on the internet sold me this one uh, take off from a, um, what do you call it? Notorious, I believe. Tighten this up a little bit. Um, so it's a straight bolt in. Best of all, it's got the uh, towers on here. As mine are still OEM. You can see they uh, they seem better days. But I'm not gonna throw this away. No, 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 no. This is this is still a good part. I just yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna strip this one. Oops. <clears throat> there it is. What do you think? Make a wind chime out of this thing? Gee, I wonder why the body wouldn't know. Walk across the little game. Anyways, I save these broken parts. Um, I don't know. Unpack Let's repeat the steps, guys. I like to sometimes put these A arms back in first, just keep stuff from you know moving or shifting about. I need to actually put more of these um, spacers back in here. This this is allowing way too much movement. But I, I some of these things got messed up, so. Have them backed out also while you're in here. Not all the way in, so it doesn't uh, strip anything. Okay, let's take a look at this shock here. I'm gonna unthread this here. I'm going to replace the, uh, here's one of the new nuts. And of course, some of the old nuts. Let's see here. There's several things that feel kind of old here and not working so hot, but not really, ooh. Not worried about yet at this point. Let me put this guy, oops. Back on here, and uh, should be pretty good. Da -da -da. I use this little four-way. I think I could use the other nut too, but really not much point. There we go. Snug down and tight. And let's do the other side. The little armor wrench is pretty good for double checking the tightness of these things. Tight enough though. Alright. Go ahead and just pop the other wheel on and see how we go. Oh, it looks pretty good. Hmm. 
Dang, what happened here? It lives in the back of the wheel socket and definitely got some big chunks missing out there. Must have got something caught up in the back of the nut there. Eh, food for thought though, right guys? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen out there. We got some co couple of screws missing. This right here is loose. I'll show you what I mean. Look at that. Almost backed up too. Didn't strip, thankfully. But uh, yeah, never really ran into that before. We gotta find these two. Oh, some motor would come loose. That would've been ugly. Anyways, definitely check your nuts and your screws. You don't want any loose screws, do you? Chance they've seen better days. All right, guys, there's a new body show. She fits now that the, everything's all munched up. I'm thinking, um, Eventually, some shock towers from Just Bash It is probably in major order there. What do you think of my truck there, man? I think it looks pretty good as a Notorious. I have to be honest, I like this body show so much, I wouldn't mind to see something like that just as a aesthetic model. Is that the right word? I was thinking more like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Dead stock? Shelf queen, maybe? Anyways. Leave me a like, let me know what you think, and uh, give me a comment, man. Let me know what you think, what's going on with, what kind of armors you got, what do you like to do, what breaks for you. If you like these big pro-line trenchers or think they're too much, check out my videos. Anyways, till next time, ciao.